to another veteran spotlight brought to you by Mark Miller Subaru. Today we have retired Colonel Carl Churchill from the U.S. Army with us. Carl, thank you so much for coming on. Absolutely. First off, thank you for your service, oh. your long years of service. Let's get right to uh, what inspired you to join the military in the first place. Well, I was raised on military bases all over the world because my uh, dad and my stepdad were um, were military Vietnam veterans. So. When I was 17, I raised my right hand. Yeah, I had to get my uh, dad to sign a release. Um, subsequently got a scholarship and then ended up uh, going from private to colonel over a 21 year career. I served in Central America in the mid 80s when we were fighting a number of communist insurgencies. Um, ended up on a peacekeeping force between the Egyptians and Israelis in the wow. Sinai Desert. Um, then uh, was with 1st Armored Division in Desert Storm, in the Balkans, um, you know, in Korea, uh, stationed in Germany, um, so all you've, over. You've seen your fair share of not just being stationed overseas and what that psychological effect can have on being away from your family, but also the psychological effect of being in an active combat zone. Yeah. How, has that, um, how has that affected you in any way? Yeah, so, um, you know, I think we talk about PTSD, and, and, um, and PTSD is real. Uh, when you deploy overseas, particularly in a combat zone, um, you know, you're in a different reality. And, um, and so when you come back, uh, there's an adjustment period, and, and it does change you forever. Um, in some ways for the better, and, and in some ways uh, that you have to deal with and, and overcome. Um, but I, I think for me, it both motivated me to live life fully um, because when you're around so much death and destruction, um, then you're really thankful for everything you have when you come back. Everything so. that's calm and peaceful and loving yeah. in this world, right? Yeah. You really gain yeah. a new appreciation for it, which is a great point, like you said. Um, and, and another big thing that we've been talking a lot about with a lot of the veterans that have been on here is uh, what people can do in the community to help veterans come back. Because it seems like inspiration to get there is not the hard part. Yeah, the hard right. part is coming home and adjusting to regular everyday life, right? Yeah. So what, as a veteran, what can community members do to, to help fellow veterans that are, that are coming over? Yeah, I think uh, the main thing is that, um, you know, you want to embrace them and bring them back into the community. I think th the hardest part is um, when you feel like you're a part. We did, uh, we took a bunch of veterans down to the Navajo Nation. They invited us down to do a sweat lodge. And it was really interesting because they talked about within their community how when the warriors would have to go out, they'd come back and they'd feel apart from the Diné, which is what the they family, call it. Right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. the tribe. And so they would have a sweat and welcome them back in and embrace them as a community. I think bringing them back and not seeing them as separate or apart um, and just welcoming, wel welcoming them back with open as arms. As members for yeah. society, which yeah. is just great. You make a great point. Uh, Carl, you started a, a new business called Alpha Coffee. I love your new title. You call yourself the Chief Coffee Officer yeah. at Alpha Coffee. Tell yeah. me all about this. You're, you're helping veterans through coffee, right? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, I retired about 10 years ago, and uh, three years after I retired, we were still, you know, in this forever war that we find ourselves in. Um, and we wanted to give back. On September 11, 2010, we started Alpha Coffee. Um, and from the start, our mission was for every um, order that we sent out, we would send a cup of coffee to deployed troops. Wow. And so we've sent over 12,000 bags of coffee um, to troops deployed in combat zones overseas. We're giving back um, while, while uh, providing amazing coffee to people. Which is great, so, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Carl. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, appreciate it for your service as well as everything that you continue to do to support veterans even after you've, uh, your long years of service. So we Thanks. appreciate it. Absolutely. That was retired Colonel uh, Carl Churchill of the U.S. Army. You can find more about Alpha Coffee at www.alpha.coffee. You can also check them out at their store on the mouth of Big Cottonwood Canyon. Thanks again to Mark Miller Subaru for sponsoring this Veteran Spotlight.
Hello, my name is Jeff Miller. I'm the general manager of Mark Miller Subaru. Over the past four generations, my family has welcomed the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces to Mark Miller Subaru with open arms and open hearts. In addition to creating a workplace where veteran employees thrive, we're proud to support causes that sustain our local veteran community, especially the veterans who need it the most.